How you guys doing today? My name is Noel. This is my patient, Tashira. Today we'll be working on shoulder motions, specifically scapular movements. So protraction, retraction, and depression. Protraction and retraction occur in the transverse plane. So you spin around for me. So if you can imagine, if these are her scapulas, they are moving forward for protraction. So they're moving around the rib cage and then backwards for around the rib cage for retraction. So in the transverse plane. And for depression, so raise your hands forward. Her, tra or her scapula moved down the rib cage, so happening in the frontal plane. Bye bye. For retraction, the muscles that we are targeting is going to be the rhomboids and the middle crack. For protraction, the muscles that we are targeting are going to be the serratus anterior. For depression, the muscles that we will be targeting will be the lower traps and the lats. So the first movement that we're going to work on is our scapular depression. So we have an open kinetic exercise right here. It's our Y's on a physio ball. What our patient's gonna do, she's gonna be prone on the physio ball as she is right here, um, supporting her weight, keeping her core tight. So for the concentric phase, she brings her arms up. And then for the eccentric, lowering them down, making sure she's slow and controlled. Um, one of the main things that you want is you want to relax the upper traps. That way all the movement isn't coming from up there. You see that a lot in people with forward shoulders and um, overhead athletes just due to that overactive upper trap. So you really want to be firing the lower trap. So give me one more. So again, on the concentric, coming up. And then on the eccentric, coming down nice, slow, and controlled. Uh, so one thing in this video that I'd love to incorporate also is just having a core exercise with all these exercises. I feel a lot of times in rehab that um, working the core out is something that gets kind of overlooked. And I feel like you can work core in every single exercise that you do. Core work always helps. So one way you can modify this to make it a little harder and into a core exercise. So you'll grab the weight. Your patient will be all fours in an all fours position. Hands, knees, and toes um, on the ground. Hands about shoulder width. Um, toes tucked under. So lift the knees off the ground. And then you come into a Y and come down. So you do the single leg, using the core to stabilize. While still getting that upper trap work. So again, working scapular depression, uh, we have our closed connect chain exercise. So this is our Y's to W's. You'll have your patient um, up against the wall, arms flush up against the wall, back um, not too overly arched, feet a couple of steps in front, whatever's comfortable for them. So they'll start in a wide position with their arms overhead, pressed up against the wall. And as she comes down into a W, this would be the concentric, where the, the entire time she's gonna be pressure against the wall, um, working to depress those scapula, and then coming down into a W, and then finishing back with the eccentric phase, coming back up while still maintaining that pressure constantly up against the wall, um, still trying to work that depression even in the eccentric phase. So for our Y's on the physio ball, we would have probably a three sets of 10 in terms of sets and reps. Um, the weight will be depending on what our patient can do at the time. We had our patient to share doing four pound weights. Um, in terms of making it harder and doing the Y's in beast, um, you can do that three by eight each arm, so they would alternate each arm. That way they're keeping that core um, under tension the entire time while still working that scapular depression. In terms of our closed kinetic chain, our Y's to W, we can have that be a three by 10 exercise as well. Nice, slow, and controlled the entire time, that way keeping that time under tension for our muscles. The next movement that we'll be working is our scapular protraction. Um, so for our open kinetic chain exercises, we have dumbbell punches. So for this, you'll have your patient either on the floor or on the table, um, lying supine. Their hands will be, their arms will be extended above them. Perfect, that would be the start position. Um, arms locked out, core stays nice and tight the whole time. 
legs can be either bent or um, flat, whatever's comfortable for the patient. So as you can see in the concentric, so punch up, that would be the concentric. I'm really working with those serratus, getting them shortened and come back down, nice and controlled. So that would be the dumbbell punches. So as we said earlier, um, really trying to work core into every exercise uh, that we do, just because core is such an important part of rehab. Here we can progress the exercise by adding in a dead bug element. So with this dead bug, she's gonna have her arms extended above her again. She's gonna have um, legs bent forward, these legs up. So in a dead bug position, she's keeping that core nice and tight, um, lower back up against the table. She's gonna press the ball into her arms while also um, protracting her arms. So punch up and back down, punch up and back down. So punch up one more time, punch down, up one more time, punch down. So as you can see, the concentric and eccentric movements are gonna be the same. We've just added in one element of um, core that way we can also work on strengthening the core during our rehab exercises. For our closed kinetic chain exercise in terms of protraction of the scapula, we'll be doing beasts with a um, scapular protraction. So the patient will be on the table or on the ground, whatever's comfortable for the patient. Um, hands shoulder width apart, um, knees um, right under the hips, stacked there, and toes tucked under. So from here, she'll raise her knees about an inch up off the table. And then for the concentric, she'll push her scaps apart, protracting them, and then for the eccentric, bringing them back to neutral. So again, a couple more reps. So at the very top, she's really pushing those scapula apart, um, really trying to work the serratus, get that involved. In terms of dumbbell punches for our protraction, um, because that is such a small movement, um, you can do a lot more reps in that to get a lot more work done by the serratus. So you do about three sets of 20 reps for that. Um, in terms of adding in the dead bug element to that, again, that would just be adding in core. So you could still do a high amount of reps, so about three sets by about 15 reps to 20 reps as well. In terms of beast, um, you can do three sets of 10 for that. Um, that being a closed connect chain exercise, they're also still working um, the whole chain down the arm as well. So our last movement of the day would be retraction of the scapula. So with that, we are doing bent over dumbbell rows. So to show demonstrate, so standing, she hinges at the hips, bending down to about 90, um, weights out in front of her, feet nice and flat, shoulder width apart. Her goal is to pinch her shoulder blades back as she comes up in the concentric. So pinching the scapula together and coming back down. So give me another rep of that. So again, in the, we're getting the concentric, pinching the scapula back together, go back down. And in the eccentric, controlling it on the way back. So give me two more reps of that. Again, not trying to over, um, over activate the upper trap and having it more in the middle trap and rhomboids working there, and as you can see, low back stays flat, no over lower doses or kyphosis. She's doing a great job there. And relax from there. One way that we can add core into this is by doing it on a single leg. So again, you'll be holding two dumbbells in hand. You'll be on one leg. Core has to stay nice and tight, you have to balance. And again, same thing with the concentric, so come up, pinching that those shoulder blades together and on the eccentric controlling it on the way back down the whole time maintaining her balance using her core her adductors her glutes and um, her posterior chain to also keep her upright and stable on that one foot and then you can relax from there uh, for our last movement we have um, close connect chain retraction um, so for this we're back in beast but instead of working protraction we're going to control the eccentric and she's going to go all the way down to her shoulder blades retracting together. Um, this way, when you're controlling that eccentric movement, um, you're still working those re uh, retractors, which are your rhomboids and your middle trap. So again, beast position, hands shoulder width apart, um, knees an inch above floor, stacked under the hips, toes curled under, so come up. 
and start to retract. So as you can see, she's really controlling that um, eccentric movement. Come back up, again, come back down. Really controlling that retraction of her scapula and the eccentric movement. So although this is similar to how we did it for protraction, stressing that eccentric movement, um, it's really gonna work the retractors of the scapula. And in order to make this a little harder, add some core work into it, where you can do it on an unstable surface. So using the half closer ball for that, um, here it's gonna force her to um, really stabilize herself, use her core to stabilize on an unstable surface while still controlling that eccentric movement of retracting the scapula together. Again, really working that eccentric control, um, really working those uh, retractors, the middle, middle trap and the round boards. So for our retraction movements, um, for our dumbbell rows, we can do that as a three by 10 exercise, or if you would like to go heavier with that, you can always do it as a three by six or three by eight exercise. For the single leg, you can do three by eight on one side, switch legs and three by eight on the other side. Um, this way you're giving that time under tension while still working those re retractors. And for our beast, we can do that as a three by six exercise because you're gonna have a lot of time under tension with those um, eccentric movements, controlling them the whole time. All of these exercises, you always want the AT real close by to um, ensure safety, ensure that technique is good, and um, that the patient is not in danger of harming themselves. So a patient shouldn't be necessarily left alone while doing these exercises, uh, especially um, anything involving free weights, the AT should always be there close by to ensure safety. Thank you for watching. Um, again, this has been retraction of the scapula, protraction of the scapula, and depression of the scapula.